Hello and welcome to Technically Analytics. Today we're going to be talking about the Mariners starting pitching staff because they are really, really good. So if you don't know, the Mariners starting pitchers have been actually killing it recently. And the Mariners have been pretty decent themselves. They're 44 and 31, 10 games ahead of the Rangers currently and Astros. Uh, so yeah, they're actually doing really well. It's their pitching staff that's killing it. So we're going to look in a little bit to their stats and see what the Mariners pitching staff is doing so well. And I can give you a hint. It's because they don't allow base runners mostly. Uh, it's not necessarily their offense, as you'll see, but they don't allow base runners. So let's get into it. So when we look at the Mariners Fangraphs page roster resource, you can see their record and all that I just said. But if you take a gander at their team rankings in 2024, you could see that their offense has not been amazing. They hit home runs, they steal some bases, but other than that, they're pretty woeful on offense. And then if we look at the relief pitching, it's actually pretty decent in most categories. So you can see that it's it's not bad. Like their bullpen's pretty good it's it's definitely top 10 i would say and then of course their starting pitching is just very good era ranked fourth whip one walks per nine one k's per nine 18 hits per nine second home runs per nine 14 so they allow some home runs they don't strike out guys like crazy but they do not allow base runners and they don't walk people and that's very key to uh, being a good team and you know you need you need that for for a team now you can see their their lineup I did in the preseason I always liked their lineup I thought they made some really good offseason moves and you can see their stats so far for the season uh, you can see that like I mean Luke Rayley he's he's doing it he's doing it I liked his acquisition Mitch Haniger hasn't been doing as well as I would have thought, uh, but they have some good contributions from these guys at the bottom. And obviously the top of their lineup has struggled a little bit, especially Julio Rodriguez not having the best start to the season, but the Mariners always have been a slow starting team, so it's kind of surprising to see them jump out to a 10 game lead in, in June, especially with the Ashers in the division. But yeah, it is it is interesting. And I mean, their best hitter is probably Luke Rayleigh at this point, and I'm not and to be fair, I called it. So, yeah. So anyway, moving on to the point of the video, we have the Mariners pitching staff. And you can see right here, they have Luis Castillo, George Carby, Logan Gilbert, Bryce Miller, and Brian Wu. And you can see their, their stats here, some of the basic ones. Well, let's start with their ace, Luis Castillo, who they traded for uh, last, or was it last season? I think it was last season. Yeah, they traded for him last season and extended him. Five-year contract, 108 mil. You can see here, 21 AAV. So they traded for him in, in 2023 or 2022, 2023, and now he's on the team for a while. And if you just go down, you can see all the basic stats here. His and so for this season, you know, nine Ks per nine, uh, only two walks per nine, one one home run per nine, which is not bad. Babip 285. And you can see that it's uh, they don't have the complete ground ball. And uh, this is the left on uh, this is the left, not complete, but this is the left on on base percentage, 77 percent, which is pretty decent. That's the highest of his career, except for in his rookie year. But he only started 15 games. And then you can see ground ball and home run fly ball. Castillo is a primarily ground ball pitcher. So that's good to see. He's uh, that's. That's pretty low for his career, actually. He's usually much higher at ground ball, so that will go up as the season goes on. I think he's gonna be he's gonna keep it on the ground mostly. ERA 3.32, not crazy, but not bad. X ERA 3.63. That's like the ERA with other factors involved. FIP 3.57, so pretty close. He's not getting screwed over on defense. 1.6 WAR. 
pretty good season overall. Now, the real stats are here in the advanced, and you can see that he his whip is 1.14, which is pretty elite, and his average batting his batting average against is 230. So, again, he's not like it's he's not like lights out striking everyone out. He's he's pitch he's pitching to con he's pitching to contact and he's getting guys out on the ground. He's not allowing base runners, so he's not walking guys a lot. And you can see his K walk percentage is is 18.6%, 25% K, 6% walk. I mean, that's a really good ratio, I think, and it could even be better, but and it, it's going to get there, I think. And the crazy thing is that I'm going to tell you is that it's all these guys are doing the same type of deal here. And we're going to go on to the next guy, George Kirby. And you're going to see it's a similar deal. I mean, you know, his his ratios are even better. 38% ground ball, 8% home run fly ball, 3.5 ERA, 3.19 ERA, 2.98 FIP. So he's he's pitching to contact a little bit better. A little bit better every season, actually. 2.1 war, 86 innings pitched. I didn't mention that with Castillo. He had, uh, how many innings did he do so far? He had 89 innings, so yeah, about the same. But if we go down, and then, uh, let's see, did I miss anything? No. And then if we go down to advance, you can see his whip, 1.01, even lower, 231 average, about the same. You know, and he, these guys are having amazing seasons, and it's because he doesn't allow home runs. You can see he doesn't allow, you know, walks like less than one walk per nine is amazing. Like that's an amazing thing that he doesn't walk anybody. That means he's filling the zone and, you know, he's not missing with his pitches. Like it's just, it's incredible. Like this team, this team's starting pitching is just incredible. And, you know, he's still in um, pre-arbitration. Pre so this guy's going to be around for a while with them. And then we're going to move on to Logan Gilbert. Uh, you know, this guy, he's in arbitration as well. Uh, he's been, he's had some solid seasons, you can see. But this year, he's killing it. Like, again, all around the same amount of starts, 15, about 15 starts each, 98, 98 innings, which is really good. 8Ks per nine, one walk per nine, one home run per nine. 237 bad, 76 left on base, 42% ground ball, 10% home run. Not bad. 2.93 ERA, XERA 319. So, yeah, he, he allows a little more home runs. Maybe walks a few more people. But, I mean, overall, like, you got to like it. 1.9 uh, war for him. And then the whip, 0.92. A batting average against of 198. K, uh, K, walk, K walk percentage. 90, 99 point or 19.5 rather sorry 24.9 percent k percentage 5.3 percent walk percentage i mean he's been lights out this is arguably uh his best season if you if you just look at the era he's like 4.68 he's rookie year that's fine 3.2 that's that's more than fine that's great uh 3.73 that's not that's respectable not bad 32 starts 32 starts 15 starts in, he's as a 2.93, his lowest ERA of his career. He's already almost surpassed his rookie year war. So, like, uh, this guy's killing it. He's having a great season, and the the whole rotation is. And this is why I think the Mariners are 10 games ahead of of the Astros, who have been struggling, especially with pitching. And I'll have a video out on that uh, later on. But yeah, this is why they're ahead, I think, because they their pitchers are just they're just filling the zone they're not walking guys and we're gonna see it again here uh we're gonna see bryce miller he's a he's a pre-arbitration i think he's still technically a rookie i want to say but i don't know uh well he did 25 starts so no he's not technically a rookie quite yet but he's he's only he i think he's still i think he's still technically a rookie he's not quite out of it yet uh but he has 88 innings, 15 starts, 8.35 Ks, 2.65 walks per nine, one home run per nine, not bad, 72% left on base, 37% ground ball, 11% home run fly ball, 3.46 ERA, 3.9 X ERA, 395 FIP, one war. So obviously he's he's a younger guy. He hasn't quite figured it out yet. He's still, still learning the ropes. And he's he's starting to figure it out now because his first season, obviously, you're going to struggle. 
you know, even though the, the batters haven't seen you before, you still don't, you don't, you're not used to facing major league hitters. So <clears throat> I think that's part of the, he's just, he's adjusting. So, so that's why you, that's what the difference is with him. Like he's still adjusting really good ERA for a guy that's only in the second season. Uh, and it's only going to get better. I think one oh one point oh one whip similar to the other guys. Uh, point uh, one ninety six average against, and he has seventy two percent. I already said that. Uh, Two twenty four left on base, and his he it looks really good. Like his K walk is a little bit lower, fifteen percent, not or sixteen uh, percent rather. Not where you want it, but he could get there. He's done it in the lower in the minor leagues before, so I think he could get there. And again, these guys are young and they're in control. So this this rotation is going to be around for years, years. Like they're going to be around for like how many years? I mean, it, arbitration is usually six to eight years. I saw. I think it's six years. So most of these guys are in pre-arb or arb. So it's like minimum they're going to in Castillo signed to a big contract. So minimum it's going to be three years before anyone can leave this rotation, which is wild. And then the last guy we have, Brian Wu. I think he's the youngest of the bunch. Uh, and, you know, he is, this is his first, this is his rookie season. Or actually, yeah, it's still his rookie year, his rookie season for sure. 33 innings this year. Uh, he was in AAA for a bit for 11 innings. And then he has a six, six Ks per nine, half a walk, half a, not even half a home run per nine. 165 bad of 85 left on base, 40 ground ball, 2% home run fly ball. So, and this guy doesn't pitch as much as the other guys. So, you know, you take it with a grain of salt. It's a small sample size, but uh, 383 ERA, 370, or no, I'm sorry, 1.07 ERA. That's the projected 1.07 ERA, 1.82 ERA, X ERA, 238 FIP, one war already. Guy's killing it. His whip is at 0.53, which is just unreal. Uh, you know, his K walk percentage, 18.5%. Pretty decent. Again, small sample size. Take it with a grain of salt. But yeah, the, the Mariners rotation is very good. And I would expect them to be good for years. And here's a look at their bullpen. It looks different than it did last year. Uh, they also have a lot of injuries. They have a lot of injuries to their bullpen. So they have Matt Brash out. Gregory Santos out, uh, Jackson Coar out, and Gabe Spear out. So <clears throat> it's not the same bullpen as last year, but they're still doing decently fine. I mean, except for Brizardo, I guess, and uh, uh, Cody Bolton. Yeah, not not too good, but everyone else is killing it. So I think the pitching is carrying this team, and they're going to need their hitters to step up at some point because if they don't, then uh, you know, I don't know how what their chances are of going deep in the playoffs without hitting. Like, cause you can if you can shut teams down, that's great. But if you can't hit the ball and produce offense and produce runs, you're gonna lose in the playoffs. So they need to get the hitting up to speed, and then their pitching staff is great. Like they, at the deadline, they might want to trade deadline. They might want to add like a pitcher, maybe add a hitter, like or just hope that Julio Rodriguez or. Cal Rally, Ty France. Well, Ty France has been injured for a while, but hope that one of JB Crawford, one of these guys goes off and starts hitting Mitch Hanniger. I mean, so yeah, th that's the Mariners and their, and that's going to basically do it for the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different of a format. I did, uh, yeah, just want to try something new. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you like this format, let me know. Or if you don't, let me know. And until next time, baseball.